Well done. Well, we're just about to join the uh, M25 at the end of the M3 here. Uh, northbound going round clockwise. Didn't it? Didn't stop in fleet at the end. I just uh, cracked on. Probably got another round a bit before I get there. How not? So um, I think we're glad it can last. Well, I've only got about an hour or so, and then I'll be able to pull into a late bike, uh, and then uh, and then have a bit of a break there. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, I think I was talking about going into fucking Asda. Um, before I started ranting about fucking carrots. Anyway, yeah, I went into Asda. I had to pick up a few bits and pieces. I've been off for a week, and I didn't really get round to replenishing all my goods. So I found out when I got in the truck yesterday. But I'd run out of certain things like Coffee Mate and... Fucking hell, how fucking dangerous is this? They should be fucking... That lane should be closed! <coughs> um... Yeah, where was I? Yeah, where do I answer? And I thought, oh, you always under the impression that answer's fucking cheap, aren't you? No! I can go Tesco's coffee mate for 189 I think it was. Two quid in Asda, eleven p difference. It's just little things, isn't it? You notice. Well I do anyway. I'm a sad bastard. Yeah, I've run out of kitchen bowl. I didn't have any kitchen bowl on board, and you can't live in a truck all week with no kitchen bowl. You need that. That's an essential. So I didn't have any of that. Um, I've got some nice uh, chicken and chorizo, or chicken and pork. It might be. I think I'm not sure if it's chicken or pork. Uh, kebab skewer type thing. So I'm going to cook up probably tomorrow night. I need to check the weather. And I wanted some uh, potato salad and some coleslaw. Well, they didn't have any fucking potato salad in there. How can you run out of potato salad? Well, they had, they had, there must have been a run on it. The good people at Totten must fucking like potato salad. So normally I'd make my own, but, you know, if these must in these occasions, I can't fucking make some in the truck. Fucking hell, itchy leg. Cool, fuck. Um, so I bought some uh, pasta and uh, pesto with pine nuts. I'm going to have that with it, that'd be nice. And I've got uh, spaghetti bolognese as well to have. So that means I've only got to find one night to have something to eat. And I've got tins and stuff, so I can always bust them up a chilli or, or a curry or something like that. You know, I've got, I've got, spare, I've got, I've got spare food. That's never an issue. Unless I uh, stop somewhere and I'll get something um, out of out of cafe. I might. Depends what time I get up and how windy it is. I might cook outside tonight. We'll see. So we're about to get onto the M25. Pretty easy for me going this way to stay in this lane. If you go around the other way, you've got to get out where that truck is. If you're going clockwise, uh, anti clockwise, you've got to get out there. And then you get all sorts of fuckwittery happening to you, because you're out there, and then he'll exit off left there, unless he's going in that seat, he's exiting off left now. Trouble is, you get people coming up in on this overtaking me like him there, getting down to here, and then moving into that right hand lane. They're either cutting you up or leaving it to the last minute. The fools and you fuckers have only got from there down to here to do it. We're straight on round here. Nice and easy, we just stay in this lane. 
I have to move over in a minute or two because this takes us on to the 8.30 if I stay here. So I'll just power on round here for the moment. On going. Been a bit hazy and a bit, uh, yeah, a bit hazy up ahead. Flowing freely. Yeah, all is good. All is good. I've been in this right hand lane now. Little silver car hasn't noticed or hasn't bothered. Hey, yeah, he has now. He's realised he was in the wrong fucking lane. Dickhead. Need a camera pointing backwards. stable on that fucking roof right there my man straps are tight that fucking comes off whoever's following you know all about it fucking kill you we're right in this lane Google Maps to see how uh, well they've landed as well some of them to see how big that reservoir is that's some fair size get some lambs they do a good, bloody good job of keeping the grass cut there don't they absolutely spot on it looks lovely a brilliant idea loads the lambs Dutch. See, I don't think that was a 
I didn't see what the track unit was, but it, it certainly didn't have a yellow plate on it, which is what the Dutch plates are. Plane coming in, I don't know whether you'll catch it or not. You'll see it. Might have been, there you go. You can see that at all. Going in the heat row. watching this from abroad, this is about as wide as our motorways get. One, two, three, four, five, six lanes. Six lanes and a hard shoulder. This is it. I don't know if anywhere else it does four than six.
as well mate on the phone he's uh, currently down in Cornwall on hold and uh, but on holiday I'll say on holiday it sort of is a holiday but he's semi retired now uh, he's a couple of years older than I am and uh, they sold their house him and his wife in um, where I live in New Milton for a ridiculous amount of money and um, they're like Yorkshire area and they've been uh, going up there for a little while and they found a house up there um, and they, they bought it and it's a brand new house looks, looks amazing um, for half the price to what they sold the house for so they're mortgage free, debt free free as a bird now um, and they've only got to get little jobs just to pay up, you know, help out with the, help out with the bills um, so no rush, no pressure he certainly won't be fucking driving a truck and tramping and working fucking 60 hours plus a week uh, lucky bastard so they're down in Cornwall at the moment um, they've got to wait until the end of the month before their house is ready they've sold their house, that's done in Dusty so um, they just got to wait for their new house to be 100% ready which is another couple of weeks they've got this week down in Cornwall then they've got a week back in New Milton we've got a bit of a party on Saturday night a couple of them coming around so we're allowed up to six people in the garden now aren't we? see? a bit of socialising, a little bit of normality I'm going to be rattling some pain and uh, a few beers will be consumed and then um, and then uh, a week after that they go out to uh, start their new lives in Yorkshire lovely that's a beautiful part of the world they're going to <coughs> even though it is up north Uh, I'm going to be going up the A1M in a minute or two no problems on the M25 everything's flowing lovely got the crazy Dutch in front of us
grubby little trailer though, isn't it? Yeah, that's an idea. Data five flat. Back off, let him come in. He is the fastest. So we're coming off on the uh, Stas Lins turning. Another service station we're not allowed to park in for security reasons because you're either getting your fucking diesel nicked or the container broken in. Yeah. Prior to us um, being stopped to go in though, I've stayed there a couple of times. Um, oh, I've, I've been alright, I've been lucky I suppose, but again, if you're not in there early, fucking forget it, you ain't gonna get parked. of these nags are coming off. Oh, 
too often. Heading north, I normally take the M1. I've never been 
went into the uh, shopping centre though. Uh, tell her that I think I might have been in there once. I used to travel around the UK when I had a proper job, I used to wear a suit. <coughs> enjoying this, a bit of a longer video. Bluebells, my first bluebells, I've just seen some bluebells. I love bluebells. Whilst we were off, we were looking at French properties again. <coughs> Found a couple that were quite nice, but again, they're only quite nice. trying to find that perfect one for you isn't it you know there's some that are perfect that, that are brilliant but they either need too much work doing to them or they're just a little bit too modern they've got no character or there's or they're um, you know again we saw one i think it was it looked lovely but it was wood fired eating all round and it, that's 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 not good. So you've got to think of the cost of putting a heating system in, you're looking at 20 grand. And I'd rather there was a heating system in than we could spend 20 grand on putting a swim pool in. So yeah, there's um, lots of things to weigh up. We want a building without buildings so that we can, as time allows, convert into simple, uh, very simple geek accommodation, you know? Very rustic, very simple. And we want a bit of land that we can put some camping pods in. Um, but trying to find we thought we found it a couple of weeks ago and we were ready to put an offer in, it was up, we were there. And then I managed to find a video, I think I said all about it, I found a video of it, of a walk-around tour of the, the house. And the rooms were tiny and it just wouldn't work. There wasn't enough room. And, uh, and there was no outbuildings. building. So it's uh, trying to find. We keep looking, we keep looking. So we 
we want this bloody lockdown to end so we can get over to France and seriously start looking at somewhere start viewing these places I don't think we'll be over this summer they got on but if there was a truck in front of me another box in front of me being thick um, and he made it on time then we're okay but if he was delayed for any reason that's going to knock it up as well that's all in the lap of the gods as it normally is. But it always works its way out one way or another, you know, it's, it's no good um, fretting about it too much. You know, I've got plenty of time, so, you know, worst case scenario is I'll just stop on the way down, on the way back. I'm not going to run out of time. It's not highly unlikely.
I'm fine now until I come off. Two days will just stay with me. It's a nice day. Sun's not in your eyes. Scenery's not too bad. Some stuff wet, wet me. That's alright. for a little village to get to this place. I'm not sure if I've taken you in before, but um, well, I've, I've, I've pulled over and had a well, if I find anywhere, if not, I'll just be going straight in there. Um, I'll, I'll put you on if I remember. Oh, bad you're having a sleep, but cute.
Peterborough, Peterborough, fucking Peterborough. into a bit of haziness. The sun is still shining so all is good. <coughs> Pulled off. two or three times now but I don't remember them. I don't remember coming up where I come off.
Lady Boys around here somewhere. Maybe it won't be that one then. I think. No, I won't fucking get in there. Not there. There's some fucking mayhem all over that shit. No, fuck that. Mirrors on. There we go. Right, there you go. I'll speak to you in a minute, please.